Hello, I'm Jim Hawkins. Squire Trelawney and Dr. Livesay and the rest of the gentlemen asked me to tell you about my adventures in the book Treasure Island. It all started a long time ago at the Admiral Bimbo. At, at the Admiral Bimbo. Bimbo. <laughs> Hello? Come in. Hello there! Give me some room! <laughs> right, right away, sir. What is your name? <laughs> you can call me Captain! I think I'll stay here while to wash the ship. Captain was one of the fiercest, rudest, roughest people I've ever seen at the time, but I was, uh, but I, I, I met a much fiercer, a much fiercer person in my day. Captain often got very drunk on rum three times a day. Actually, he would sing that awful song of yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. It would ring in my ears all day long. He would tell us the stories of the sea, terrifying ones that scared the customers away. Okay. Soon after, he asked me if, if I'd look out for a seafaring man with one leg over the ships, and he would give me a four-penny piece at the beginning of every month. I said I would, except it seemed very strange to me. And I dreamed of the one-legged man in my dreams and had nightmares for about a month. Hello, is Bill here? No, the only person here is Captain, and he's out on a walk. That's Bill, all right. I'm an old friend of that bloke. Let's go hide behind the door so we can scare the crap out of him. <laughs> Surprise him. Soon after I left the room, the two people, <laughs> Black Dog and Captain, which is now Billy Bones, be that's what the man called him, were cursing at each other and talking about some map or something. And, and after that, Captain got really sick because he drank a whole bunch of rum. And he died from a, a heart attack right there. And my father, Jim Hawkins' dad, died and died soon after that. When Captain died, me and my mother did not know what to do. So we searched him, and he said that there were more coming for some map. And so we found the map. And they were coming after us after we opened up his treasure chest that he kept in his room, in his room at, in the second floor of our inn. And we found the map, and we ran to Square Trail Irony, and Dr. Lives say, the, our family doctor, and they were look, and they looked at it, and we went on this, and Square Tulani found a ship for us, and he found a person named Long John Silver to be our cook, and he, and Long John Silver got us a whole bunch of, of crew, and soon we were off to sea. Action. One night on ship, I climbed into the apple, bar apple barrel to find an apple on the bottom. And I heard Long John Silver and his and his friends that looked that were from his old adventures that I later find out are bad and are and are as soon as we get to the island and find the treasure tre as soon as we get to Treasure Island and find the treasure are going to revolt against us and kill us all since Long John Silver has has all the people on the ship with him because he hired most of them then they could kill us so I go and I tell. Square Trelawney and Dr. Live say. Shut up, I know it's Tim. Actually, it gets Tim. When we got to the shore of Treasure Island, we let Long John Silver, then known as Barbecue, and his 
and the crew that wanted to go with him go ashore. And they, when they found out that some of the people that went with them were on our side and that, and that weren't going to revolt against us, they killed him. And see, that's where they were killing one of them. Long John Silver threw his crutch at Morgan and hit him in the back and killed him. After they didn't come back, Long John Silver and his people, the Square Trail Irony and Dr. Livesay and some of our friends that were still good people and weren't on Long John Silver's side, decided to come ashore and fight him so, for the ship. Silver's men died. I ran off in the middle of the night and cut loose the ship that we came to the Treasure Island on and hid it. So Long John Silver and the men that were left couldn't run away with the ship and leave us on the island. Soon Long John Silver found his senses and, and joined up with me, the doctor, and the squire, and the good people that were left. And so we found a, a guy kind of called Ben Gunn, and he had been stranded on the island for almost like three years, and he had already found the treasure. He had, he had already found the treasure, and he told me in, in the Dr. Live site in Square Trelawney, and we split the tre treasure evenly and left the island. And the two people that were left, th that were on Long Gilver's side, we left them there on the island. And as we were, and as we were leaving, they cried, and we said goodbye. The end. The end. Everybody say Turn it end. off. Turn it off. Everybody say the end. Okay, now we, now you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta, gotta okay, now, now we have to say, we have to say the cast. One, two, three, cast! Yes! Natalie! Yeah! For both of you! Uh, could you fix the TV so I can Two. watch it? Okay, come here, real quick. We'll say that. Okay, let, let John film you for like three seconds. Okay, tell us when to say it. Dad! 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 Dad